Guess who's back? Mm. Back, back. Again. Mm. Nah, nah. Guess who's back? Uh. Back, uh. Again. Uh. Nah, uh. nah. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? We didn't even rehearse that. That was quite lovely. Just straight off the bat. Straight off the bat. Happy New Year. Back. Back. And I hope you don't mind this, but I'm going to say something I don't normally say to you. Happy New Year, motherfucker. I'm coming Uh, in hot. You're coming in hot and hard, like my favorite TV channels. Oh, my God. Hot and hard. Trench tips. It's trench tips. There's demand for this. People started messaging me saying, look... When can I get more trench tips, and can you deliver it intravenously? And I say, come on, you need professional help. I can't inject a podcast. But maybe I can, straight into your ears. With this episode of Trench Tips, we're going to discuss the top five reasons email is dead. Jack, email. Do you like it? Do you want it? How does it smell? What's an email? (laughs) Great, great, great rebuttal. And that's why I like you. I don't trust you, but I like you. Okay, Okay. (laughs) number one, the first problem with email, okay, and I think this is the big one, salespeople can't spell. Mm. If they had knowledge of spelling, grammar, if they were educated, do you think they wouldn't be in sales? We wouldn't be here. If we were clever, we wouldn't be salespeople. We wouldn't be salespeople. It's not a job for clever people. So why would you expose your lack of knowledge and acumen around the written word in an email Mm. and not only that why would you send it to someone thinking they give a shit you know what i mean i know what you mean i don't get it Salespeople can't spell is the number one reason not to email jack frimston what are your thoughts number two cold email is dead 2024 and i'm going to give you a reason why what is what is the point of cold email. I stick you in a cadence. I send lots and lots of cold emails. What am I hoping to get? Uh, Validation, love that you never got from your parents. Mm, Don't talk about Estelle and Mark like that. Anyway, um, it's not about the validation. The intention from a cold email is to get a meeting. I want a meeting so I can sit with you, Zach, and I can sell to you. I want you to reply to my email and say, oh, my God, where's your Candly link? I'm going to bust. Okay, so the whole point of sending cold emails is to get somebody on a call to see if they have a problem and if they're motivated to fix that problem and then to give you some money to help them solve it. If your whole job and the intention of a cold email is to get them on a call, why don't you just call them? Holy shit. You're saying, let me get this straight. Okay, you're saying, skip the bit that's bullshit. Do the proper bit anyway at the start. That's what you're saying. Just call them. What is the point of cold email? What is the point of cold email? It's a great, great point. And if you want to fucking fight us on that, you can fight us on that. But I want you to know, Jack's pretty hard. He's not as soft as he looks. (laughs) It's January 2024. We're coming in hard for the email. Number three, what are you thinking? Okay, so I've been lucky enough to see how someone who's fucking charlatans work, okay? What success look like, looks like, what the results look like, okay? They're based on things like open rate. Let me tell you something about open rate, yeah? If I emailed everyone in the world and the subject line was, I've got your kids, or I'm going to kill myself if you don't open this, or, oh my God, is this you with your dick out? How many people do you think would open those emails? I, I wouldn't be opening the latter. That's all I'm saying. Well, if it was Jack's dick, I'd definitely be opening it because that thing is juicy. Right. right? So, <laughs> weird. Sorry. Weird. Sorry. Weird. Weird. I've never seen it. I've just heard the rumours. Um, but what I'm saying is you could literally put anything in the subject line to get someone to open it. Okay, and then they open it, and then you feed back to your client, and you say, like, you know, look at all these opens I got. Could be any old shit that you put in there. And that's the issue. There's no clear, identifiable metrics to what good looks like. Oh, I've got X amount open rate based on this message. Could just be fucking annoying. Could be something that's totally nonsensical. Could be something that's exposing. Could be misleading. Could be unethical. There's all sorts of reasons that someone might open and respond to an email. So there's no clear notion of what good looks like 
And it's for that reason, I'm out. Jack, number four. Number four, qualification. Okay. Are you happy, Zach, as a business leader who sells mm. to sit down with anyone? Would you give anybody in, you, in, anybody in the world five minutes of your time? I think you know me well enough to know. No, I wouldn't. You won't even give the people you like five minutes of your time. You're a bastard. No, I won't. Um, I'm a bastard. Qualification. Cold email doesn't qualify. And that's something that I'm willing to die on a hill screaming. Cold email doesn't... Yeah, so what do you mean? Give me an example. Well, nothing's qualified. So I send you an email and I say, listen, I've done some personalization. I've sent you a funny meme. Do you want to discuss yeah. how we can help with this? And they go, haha, yeah, sure. What does that mean? Yeah, sure. Of course, cool. so it's in the diary. We've got 30 minutes. Do you have a problem? We don't know. The amount of people that see personalized emails and go, you know what? I want to sit down with you just because I feel sorry for you. You went to a lot of effort. You sent me a, a Costa coffee card for $10. I'll sit down with you. But there's no qualification. So it's a bit more like needle in a haystack. And it's a bit bullshit. Yeah. There's no qualification from cold email. That is so, so true. Okay. And what was the next point? I've not got it written down. Number five, I've just wrote down, I love emails. I don't know why I've done <laughs> Number five, <laughs> five reasons why cold email does is dead. I've just got a big note here that says, I love email. Oh, right. Saturation. Saturation in the market. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Saturation. You're competing in a world where everyone's trying to shag. Yeah. Everyone's I don't like the way where you're taking place. this conversation. It's very vulgar. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> you're competing in a world where everyone's trying to court. Mm. Everyone's, trying to, everyone's trying to woo the damsel or dame, or they or them, or thus or thou. And what they're finding when they do that is everyone's doing it. Okay? And they're, what they're putting forward might not be the best looking yeah, mm. might not be the most appreciated, might not be the most valued. Not only that, the person that's getting weird is sat back thinking, I'm getting a lot of attention over mm. it. I'm getting a lot of this. I'm seeing it all coming. And actually, I'm married, so I'm not interested. Okay? So you're competing in a world where everyone's competing. And look, I don't want to tell you what to do, but Jack, you'll know this. How many times have you called the CEO? You've given them the line, say, well, I'm sure you get a lot of cold calls. And they say, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't get a lot of cold calls at all. I get thousands of emails. I get thousands of deck picks. Card yeah. decks. And how many times are they saying that? All the time. I, I spoke with the CEO and they told me they get on, they delete their emails on a Sunday evening. That's the job for the Sunday. They get anywhere between 800 and 1,000. So that, and that's, that's emails. emails on a weekly basis. Now let's. Who was that? Uh, don't know if I can say legally, but I'll tell you off camera because I like you. Um, but if we think about someone like Jeff Bezos. I think it's Bezos. I don't think it is. Uh, if we think about Jeff Bezos, I think he gets probably more than a thousand. But I don't think anyone, I remember the point that I wrote down now. No one ever in the history of humanity has said, you know what I love? Cold emails. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I like him. I like those cadences as well. It's really mm. clear, you know, the cadence. What I do is I'll, I'll leave the ones in there where they've got my job role. Mm. Hi, Zach, as the CFO, I thought you'd be interested in the problems I sent out before. <laughs> mm. Interesting. I'm not the I CFO. can't even count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about, what about so, bump? Do you like bumps? To bumping up to the bottom, mm. to the mainbox? Or are you talking about? No, British? I'm talking about, e you know, that whole conversation we've been having about cold email. Okay, um, I'm a sober man. I'm gonna put that out there first and foremost. I don't do drugs, but I've done a drug who has, if you know what I mean. Um, that depends what rumors you've heard. But listen, when they bump to the top of my inbox, I think, why don't you bump the fuck <laughs> off? <laughs> it's quite rude, isn't it? I bump. I yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, if I was interested, I'd bump back, but I'm not bumping back, bro. Yeah, look, I, all, I don't see nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same as anyone. Okay. But the thing is, when you're hitting my inbox, you're asking for the bump. But I don't want to grind. You're not going to get mm. anywhere. That's that, that, that's that's just that's a the fact. Dance. I'm sorry to get very 
you know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to show you how cool I am with the song reference there. From a guy that we're not allowed to talk about that's anymore. That's what you tune into this Crap. podcast. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 2024, <laughs> email predictions. What's happening with cold email? Uh, I think email predictions, I think, like, if, if you're like me, what I've done is I've rerouted emails now that are irrelevant to be shot out of a cannon out the window and shouted straight into a pigeon's mouth. And that pigeon's going to fly over the, not Cheshire exactly, but the surrounding mm. area and do a big shit with that email strand. What do you think it is then? What about you? <laughs> what, what, what do you think it is? What, what you've got wrong with you out of interest for the, for the <laughs> listeners. They must be wondering. <laughs> um, it's definitely <laughs> mental illness. But listen, what I want people to know is they might be sitting there thinking, that was my plan. Email was my plan, right? And if they're thinking that, Jack, and they're like, but a cold coin, okay, I get it. That's going to be the best way to do things. I understand that. I've been persuaded. What can they do, Jack? They don't know where to start. Where what, they, they want to start cold calling? Yeah, I want to stop. I don't know where well, to Well, I go. know two schmucks who might be able to help you. And I don't mean okay. <laughs> schmuck B. Uh, we, have a, we have a course coming up, Better Cold Call Saw, which is all going to be Breaking Bad related. It's going to be fun. It's going to be laughter. It is the 24th of January. It is at 5.30 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. There will be laughs. There will be tears. There will be lots of tips for cold calling. It's £65. We're starting the year off strong. There are more things coming, but this is going to be the way that we start. And I'm gonna say it right now. It's gonna be nice. Okay. It's gonna be really nice. And I think the thing is when something's nice, you want more of it. Mm. And don't worry, we've got more. More. More is coming. That's five reasons why cold email is dead. Screw cold email. There we go. Screw it. Let's make sales gay again. <laughs>